Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is July 19th, 2023. In today's video, I'm going to show you a super easy, very simple, highly effective way to boost blooms on any fruit trees. The most important, it is zero cost. Don't go away. Stick with me. So first, I'd like to show you the results. I want to convince you, you can see the difference. Then I will come back to talk about how I made this difference. Okay, let's get started. First, let's talk about this citrus tree. This citrus tree is planted in our front yard. As you can see here, the trunk is pretty big. Actually, this is a well-established citrus tree. But unfortunately, the trunk you saw right here is rootstock because our previous owner did not know how to take care of this citrus tree. So it caused some problem because rootstock overtook orangelo grafted cyan woods. You can see here, that is a cyan wood. So basically this cyan wood is a lemon tree. You can see here, still two lemons on this lemon tree. Early this year in springtime, this lemon tree produced some flowers so right now you can see some small lemons pretty good actually you see here some lemons 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 lemon here and uh, check out right here lemons lemons and the lemons unfortunately i think here there's one branch just uh, broken recently so also produced uh, several lemons but anyway so I just want to show you this lemon tree blooms early this springtime and right now you can see some lemons, small lemons on it. Right now it's in July, it's in the middle of the July, you can see some blooms right here and right here. So basically, as you know, a lot of lemon tree, they can bloom all year round. So as I show you right here, so basically this lemon tree, most of the time, I think it blooms in early spring. Right now, you still can see several flowers on it. So this is lemon tree. So basically all this branch from this grafted lemon branch. So let's turn around to this side. Actually, from this original grafted lemon tree, so there's one big branch right here. You can see the big branch. And uh, early springtime this year, so basically at that time, this lemon tree branches produce a lot of flowers. But unfortunately, all these branches did not produce a lot of flowers. Only just can see a few flowers on it. That's why I'm wondering whether I can do something to boost flowers, to encourage, produce more flowers. But right now, I want to show you the results. You can see the big difference. So let's check out, you know, the branches right here. See, a lot of blooms, right? You see here, it's bloom clust here. And check out right here, blooms, blooms, blooms. And right here, you see? So let's check out this branch. Blooms. And right here, you see? Blooms. 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 Here. Blooms. And uh, turn around right here. You see here? Blooms. And here. Blooms. Blooms. And blooms and blooms almost every side branch you can see blooms not just a several blooms it's a bloom clusters take a look at it. it's amazing it's kind of to be good to be true but it is real all this is real blooms why all these branches has so many blooms in July. But if you check out these branches early, I showed you. Right now, 
you can just see several blooms. Why? Why big difference? Can you see the difference? If you can see the big difference on this branch, so basically all these branches, please use your finger to click some up. Right? I already convinced you. You can see the big difference. A lot of blooms on all these side branches. But all these side branches from this branch. So I want to show you here. This branch at the bottom, just below this branch, you can see some branches. But I cannot see any blooms. Can you see any blooms? Nothing. Here. Can you see blooms? Nothing. Here. Some branch. Blooms? Nothing. And right here. Can you see any blooms? Nothing. Why? Why only on this branch producing so many blooms, flowers? Why? You really want to know the results? You really want to know why? Don't go away. Before I get started, I'd like to mention you on my YouTube channel, there's two playlists. One is citrus tree propagation and care. The other one is grafting techniques. On both playlists so far, there is over 60 videos specifically talking about how to propagate citrus tree and how to care for citrus tree. If you're interested, you can go back and check out and watch later. Okay, let's come back and talk about how I made this big difference. Just as I mentioned, early springtime this year. So basically that time, I can only see very few flowers. So basically you can see here. Did you see here? I can only find one nemo right here and another one nemo right here. So basically on this big branch, I can only find two lemons. The size is pretty similar to these branches. So basically that is the blooms from early springtime. So that's why I decided to do something to change whether I encourage more blooms on this branch. So basically on February 8, I did some surgery on two branches. So right now you can see one branch unfortunately broken in June. I think on June 18th, I made another video and posted on my YouTube channel. If you're interested, you can go back and check out because that video is closely related with this branch. It's kind of like a same story. So I would rather you watch that video before you watch this video. But anyway, so take a look at here. Did you see here? I put something right here. So basically, on February 8, I made a two circular cut on this branch. So later, I think on June 18th, I removed the electrical tape. So right now you can see the callus right here. So basically, I girdle this branch later because I worry about this branch might be broke. Actually, early I use a stake right here just to support this branch. Fortunately, this branch did not break. But unfortunately, that time I didn't know this branch broke. So to be honest, actually, in June, one month ago, this branch did better than this branch. That time has more blooms on this branch. I feel really, really sad at that time. But unfortunately, I cannot change it, the factor. So basically at that time, it's already broken. So you can see right here, it's already broken. So I would rather you go back to watch that video. So basically, as I mentioned, the trick is I girdled this branch. So basically there's two signs 
you can tell whether your girdling is successful or not. So first thing, let's check out here. I go over here and go to an, another branch right here. So basically, you can see just below this girdling, you can see some new branch. It's green. Actually, that time, um, February 8, when I girdle these two branches, basically, I cannot see any branches right here. This is later, after I girdled these two branches, you can see these new shoots come out from just below this girdling. So why? Why I can see a lot of new shoots just below this girdling come out? Because when I girdle this branch, basically blocked some carbon hydrate produced from photosynthesis. They cannot transport through the bark into the bottom to feed the roots. So the roots feel starving. So basically, the tree produced some new shoots just below this girdling. So basically, these new shoots, I didn't do anything. They have leaves. They have intact barks. So that's why they can do the photosynthesis, produce carbohydrate, then transport all the energy, go down to the roots and feed the roots. So that's why this branch can survive. So this is one time you can see some new shoots just below this girdle. Another thing, if you check out right here, you can see this branch above the girdling is thick than this branch. So basically, as you know, at the bottom, the branch is supposed to be thick compared with some branches, the branch, the same branch on the top. But actually, right now, it's totally opposite. You can see here, the bottom branch is thinner than this branch above the girdling. So that means because more energy they accumulate on this branch. So that's why right now you can see more blooms. That's the trick. So basically, as I mentioned to you, so basically I just girdled this branch. I didn't do anything else. But right now you can see the big difference. A lot of blooms. They're going to set fruits. Amazing. I feel so excited. I just want to convince you this is real, very easy, super simple. Actually, with zero cost, right? You didn't have to buy any commercial available, you know, bloom booster, kind of with a high ratio of phosphorus, such as, you know, bloom booster. Even though, actually, I purchased monopotassium phosphorus, which is with very high phosphorus and potassium sprayed on some citrus tree. I don't think I can make any big difference compared with girdle. So that's why don't waste your money. Just use your knife, make two circular cut, remove some bark, then boom, you see the results. A lot of blooms, a lot of fruits, definitely you will get a big harvest. So guys, if you trust me, if all the results I show you right here convince you, please give us a thumb up, like, share, leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.